Division 7's big league. The final quarter coming up from VFL Park between Richmond and Footscray. And as we start the final term, scores are dead set level. 57 points apiece. Footscray wish to make the final five and they'll not leave any stone unturned to do so. But what are Richmond going to do about it? As the ball is scrambled for within the square, the umpire said a bounce will take place. So we're still in the same situation. 8-9-57 Footscray, 8-9-57 Richmond. One of the best games we've seen all year, Jack. I think you would agree with me there. It's been a hard physical contest. No spite in the game. It's just been both sides desperately trying to win. Edmund has been a brilliant player up forward. A great example to his side. There's Jimmy Jess punching it away. It's grabbed there by Jeff Ablett. Down towards half forward. This has been one of the stumbling blocks in defence. This is Michael Egan. And every defender has played well for Footscray, including Rick Kennedy playing on Michael Roach. Oh, Egan in front. Got one in the stomach too. Is a chance now for Gr of Wigan taps it out cleverly and the umpire said Grot of Wigan was hit after head. getting rid of the ball so a free kick will go to the player I've just mentioned Grot of Wigan goes a short pass bad defence by Richmond which leads Footscray in so it's Royal of Footscray the leads by Beasley the kick will be longer than that he's going to try and place the ball he's kicked it straight over the head of Lee Lee couldn't get back for it going in after this Fuller there's Edmund now Landy Landy gives it back to Fuller of Richmond he'll bring the ball back across goal it's a dangerous practice oh. but it comes off to Rollings Rollings backs himself Bambrit does the tackling the kick by Rollings up there and the mark should have been paid to Rioli I thought play on to the call the pack forms up Rioli goes down didn't have the ball but the umpire still said no free kick I'll bounce in the center of the ground well there's no doubt about this Footscray side gee do they go in hard and tackle hard and that's a Mickey Malthouse style football that's the way he played the game when he was with the Tigers and now his young charges are playing that way there's Rioli down towards half forward it's taken away by Baxter off the ground to Kennedy he's been a star in defense out wide it comes a chance for Mervyn Kane he sidesteps beautifully over to Philip Egan the lead has been made to Johnny Anir he's in the the forward pocket off he goes straightens up steps at the ball oh and he is right across the place of goal and out of bounds peter we did say early in the game that any shots from off that forward pocket position would be hard to get because the breeze is blowing straight through the goals and it's blowing the ball away so scores still level at vfl park on seven's big league he'll take this out puts gray have the breeze but can they take advantage of it that pass in a free kick richmond's way will be taken by Roach, only 20 metres out from goal. So Richmond will go to the front after this kick by Roach, irrespective of what the score is. It's 8, 9, 57 each, and Roach going for his second goal. Only 20 metres out. He knows the bruise is right on his face, and he knows quite well he has to put a lot of weight behind the kick to keep it on line. The kick on its way from Michael Roach. It's through. Richmond lead for Stray by six points on BFL Park on seven's big lead. Well, a very handy goal to the Tigers. We must uh, say that the Footscray side is kicking to the end, favoured by the breeze. That's been uh, mainly the scoring end. It's a lot more difficult at the end, which Richmond is kicking to. Now, all the flags going down that end, a very, very handy goal to Richmond. They would not have wanted Footscray to score the first goal in this quarter with the breeze behind them. Now it's up to the young Bulldog side to fight back and see if they can hit the front. Centre bounce. Purser and Lee. The two number ones, and they come. All tapped to turf and pushed out. That's up towards Richmond's half forward zone again. Egan in trouble. Gets the ball out in front of him. Oh, can't make contact out there with Hawkins. Another chance now for Kane after taking the hand pass from Egan up toward the full forward zone. It goes Pickering, tries to barge through. Pickering's got it. He's lost it. He's got it. He hand passes back. A chance for Kennedy of Footscray to drive the ball out of danger. He kicks toward Edmund, opposed to Landy. The ball at the back of the pack. It's picked up by Hawkins, shot out. Wallace in trouble, breaks the tackle, and Beasley leaves to the kick of Wallace. It's out wide. Beasley nudged out by Stewart. The umpire calls play on. Picked up by Straw. Good tackle by Beasley. And now it's forced toward the boundary line. And a throw in will take place in the forward pocket for Footscray. Well done, Simon Beasley. He didn't give up there. He chased after the, his opponent and put a bit of pressure on. Beasley's kicked two goals. It's been a moving target all day. So, despite the fact he's only kicked two, it's good to have a player up there who runs around. He's now doing the rough work against Lee. Lee's had his colours lowered today to Bursa. Hand pass to Palm. Palm over to Barry Rollins. He's been a great player for Richmond. Now it's across there to Johnny Anir. Anir right up towards the centre of the ground. The march taken by Morris Rioli. Two players up there. Pickering against Cordy. 
Cordy wins out. He's been beaten today by young Pickering. That could have been a free kick behind the play there. No, it wasn't oh, played. boy, they're very, very lucky, Rick Kennedy, to not have that given against him. Well, I think the ball was still within the five-metre distance, Peter, but only just. Cool. Yeah. All right, boundary throw-in taking place. The game poised now. Richmond in front by a goal. We've been playing six minutes of the final term. Wallace goes in. Puts Gray starting to use their body. Maybe a bit too much. Palm out to Francis. Francis driving Richmond forward. It's a penetrating kick to Pickering. Nearly a free kick. Here's a chance now. It's that ball picking up. The left foot shot won't go through. The breeze will push it out. And it's out of bounds now oh. in Richmond's forward pocket. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on that uh, Footscray side at the moment. Richmond have come out firing in this final quarter. The Bulldog defence today has been absolutely magnificent. Can they stem the tide and get it down to their forwards and score enough goals to win? Footscray have to make sure they get the ball down, try and let the breeze do the work for them. A chance now for Rioli. Can he pick it up? Can he shoot toward goal? He goes goal! Big league. No, punched away by Rick Kennedy, and he makes a certainty of that one straight over the line out of bounds. The time clock is ticking away. 15 and a half minutes gone in this final quarter, and Footscray, what have they scored, Jack, for the quarter? They have yet to score a goal. One behind is all One behind scored. only, they've scored. They can't let the breeze do it for them, and the way things are shaping up, Richmond will take this game out because Footscray will have to get a couple of quick goals. Royal taking it away from the back pocket, driving down to the wing position, but it's all Richmond out there. Francis lifts his game. He go into the centre now to Ania. He elects to go the hand pass, and the hand pass eventually comes back to Ania. Another hand pass comes in. What are they going to do with it? Ablett picks up the left foot kick coming in toward Roach in front. Can't take the mark. Another chance for Richmond. The step toward goal. Is it, is it true? It's yes. a goal, all right. So puts Gray in real trouble at VFL Park as Richmond go to. A lead on 11-11-77, and it's Footscray 8-10-50. Yes, a real change has come over the game. At three-quarter time, scores were dead set level, and, uh, well, you would have put any money you like on Footscray because they were coming home with the breeze. Probably the breeze has died a little bit in this last quarter, but all the same, full marks to Richmond. They have really lifted their game. They're playing as a terrific team game. They're going in hard after the ball. And the Footscray players, I think, it took a lot out of them in the third quarter, the real hard effort that they've put in. Oh, Here's the chance. chance, though, as we see Steve McPherson. A long kick. Beasley against Stewart. Stewart tries to punch the ball away. He does exactly that straight over the line and out of bounds. But uh, Footscray haven't had enough strength up forward, Jack. 17 minutes ago in the final turn. Footscray's chances are starting to dwindle as the time clock gets around. Footscray not playing as well in this final term as they did in the second term with the Breeze when they kicked five goals three. Can they do anything about it? Well, there's a snap at the goals. Up towards Edmund, he ducks back. A good effort by Jimmy, and now it's Mickey McKenna goes in after it. No free kicks at the umpire. Anir to Stewart, the two ex-Magpies. Here's Johnny Anir looking out there to David Palm. Palm, oh, he's got a paddock to run in. He's on half-back flank. He'll go for the hand pass to Egan. Egan will probably look for Jess. He's caught with the ball. Too long, said the umpire. And the free kick on centre wing will go to Grunner Egan. They're not out of it, the Bulldogs. Don't write them off yet, but it will take a very, very good effort. Well, the hand pass comes down to Egan. He's got right down from the back pocket. He's tackled by two, but gets out of it. He shoots it over now. Can Kellett score? He got tripped, I thought. The umpire calls play on. Kellett shoots it out. The shot at goal will be from Royal. Yes, he will shoot to goal now, but he's way off target. Kicked it right across the goals, and the mark taken by Landy. Well, they don't know what to do. Their forward line is not functioning at all at the moment Footscray and there's the kick coming from Landy right out towards half back they're still fighting hard in goes uh, Jeff Ablett caught with the ball gets in the hand pass to Peter Francis he's caught a beautiful tackle hand pass Doug Hawkins intercepts knocks it over the line and out of bounds time clock 18 and a half minutes gone in this final quarter and the scoreboard shows Richmond 11-11 Footscray on 8-10 the two number ones Mark Lee down to Jeff Ablett Ablett on the left foot gee the players look tired in goes Stephen Wallace. They should be kicking the ball long. Mickey McKenna, oh, bundled out of the way. Still a chance for Kellett. Kellett to Hawkins. Hawkins to Egan. What's Mickey Egan doing down there? Too high, said the umpire. It's a free kick to Michael Egan. 
down from the back pocket and he's having this kick at center four. Well, he won't make the distance. You can see Beasley, Beasley let again then, Peter, far too early. Egan will go back. Look at the big pack going into the goal square. Poor kick off the side of the boot. Wobbles into the forward pocket. Cupped away over the boundary line by the Richmond defence. And it's oh. Beasley, the meat in the sandwich, can't take the mark. It's taken by Land. He drives out with a long kick back to the outer half-back flank. A chance for Ablett. Ablett shoots it back again. Taken by Kane. Kane will drive up the wing position. Here's a chance for Nia. He's dropping back on the ball. Can't take the mark. Still with the ball in front of him. Johnny Nia plays on. He's caught, but gets a hand pass away. Richmond coming forward. Yes, that kick is from Michael Roach. Oh, this is danger. Morris Rioli up towards Pickering. Michael Pickering doesn't get a favourable bounce and the ball beats him over the line out of bounds. We've hit the 20-minute mark of the final quarter and Richmond doing well. 11-11-77, Footscray 8-10-58 and the Bulldogs are in trouble. Are they in trouble? All right. Over the back came Roach, taken by McKenna. He's well tackled by Rioli. He'll swing back on the left foot, foot hook it back and he's found Roach. Well, here's a chance for Roach to kick another goal. He has already kicked two for Richmond. Not an easy goal. He's said it all day and I'll continue to do so. The breeze in his face, in fact, will be across the kick more than straight into it. So Roach, can he handle this one, Pete, or not? Well, oh, he'll make the distance, no doubt about that. But let's see about the accuracy. He is a great kick, Michael Roach. It's floating. It's a high one. And I think that's a... Oh, no, just off line. I thought the umpire was going to say a goal there. It is only one behind. The Richmond players were clapping it. 11-12, 78, Richmond. Woodsgray still a faint chance. 8-10, 58. Time running out, and it would take a miraculous recovery now for them to win the game. 20 points between the teams. Richmond leading. They're an attack at this stage on the half-forward flank, but Footscray try to change that through Burton. Burton drives down. Jess in control of this situation as he takes the mark on the half-back play position for Richmond. He's in no hurry to get it moving. He knows quite well that Richmond have Footscray's measure if they can just hold them out for a few more moments. The kick is high toward the centre of the ground and a good mark taken over the back by Neil Cordy. Given to McKenna, given to Royal. Royal's getting the fumbles, can't pick up. Gets put out of business by Palm. That was good football. Palm shoots it back out toward Ablett. McLean's in there for Footscray. Can he pick it up and swing back? He's well tackled by Ablett. The kick isn't good. It comes in towards... The half-back zone where Strawn's appealing for a free kick, but the umpire said... Brad Richmond defence has been magnificent in this final quarter. Purser goes up, can't take the mark. Here's Morris Rioli, who has really come to life in this last quarter after quiet three quarters. Jeffrey Ablett, there's that great pace of Ablett, breaks away and kicks it wide. Pickering's there. Pickering, oh, good mark. Over to Egan, good play, young Pickering. And Philip Egan fires at the goals. Football by the time. Well, on 7th Big League, you're seeing all the action from PFL Park and you're seeing Footscray go down. Richmond, who've been rather disappointing this year, are leading. They're on 12-12-84. Footscray on 8.